I think that the main challenge is to create a sense-making framework in today's crazy world, which is getting crazier and crazier. It's all about empowering people. It's all about creating trust. It's all about building a society where people are empowered and want to contribute to a better city. A place where you have a trust-based society, it is a place which may have much better possibilities to change in line with the changing world. There are at least two different layers or levels of change agents. The first one is the world around us, global megatrends, I mean, climate change, segregation, aging, technological revolution. I mean, those big megatrends which all cities all around the world are facing and you have to adapt yourself to them. You need to remember that the city is, it is a bureaucracy, but it's first and foremost also a place and a community. And you could say that all the members of the community are change agents. It's up to each and every city to decide what they want to concentrate on. But on general level, I believe in these kind of change agents. You can't miss any part of the fight against the climate crisis. What we actually did in Helsinki was that we started by measuring where our emissions come from, and then we put up a, a action plan in order to tackle all of those emissions. A functional city is a city which simply works. It is a city with as little red tape, as little bureaucracy, as possible, it is a good city where everything works and where the everyday life is smooth and pleasant. Going from strategy to action is of course a long and difficult path. And when you have a good strategy, which people like, maybe not love, but at least like, then you are already halfway. <laughs>